the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Hello technicians, let's talk about some MISFAR diagnostic strategies and if you take a look at my Molly scan tool right now, what we've done is we've gone to the global OBD2 side of the scan tool. This vehicle behind me has a MISFAR code. Now what we'd like to point out is the fact that if it is, if it is an ignition related misfire, all we basically have to, look, to do is look at the fuel trim values because an ignition type misfire will not cause significant fuel trim corrections. But if it's an air fuel ratio type misfire, for example, like a lean density misfire from bad injector, vacuum leak, bad mass airflow, you will see double digit fuel trim corrections. So this Ford Expedition behind me has a P0300. Now I'd like to take a look at my short term fuel trim values on a scan tool right by my pointer here. You can see the short term fuel trim is adding 40.6%. That tells us right away it is a lean density misfire. All the secondary components in the world is not going to fix this problem. Your misfire here again is a lean density misfire. Now let's say that you had an ignition related misfire and you just went to global side of the scan tool and you looked at the short term fuel trim and coupled with the long term fuel trim. If it's an ignition related misfire you will only see single digit fuel trim correction. So it's an easy way to determine, determine if it's ignition related misfire. It's, you know, very, very small amount of fuel trim corrections. Or if it's a lean density misfire, double digit fuel trim corrections, just like we're showing you right now on the Molly Tech Pro Scan Tool.